Hey everybody, it's Sarah from the Style Vlog and welcome to my film room. So I have all my film stuff set up in a spare bedroom upstairs. We remodeled the entire downstairs, took walls out, did new flooring, paint, etc. Everything up here we haven't touched anything. The walls are dark, it's just not quite our taste. So I want to turn this film room into a beautiful filming space and I want to get rid of this backdrop back here and kind of put my backdrop as this wall with a bookcase and shelves etc. I just want it to be more elegant, refined, and beautiful. So um, I have my backdrop back here in front of the window because I just like to use this artificial studio lighting. I feel like it's more even and I can film when it's nighttime. I have my high counter height desktop here and then my high chair back there with a ring light. Here's my tripod. I have a big mirror here for when I film. I want to switch all of this stuff to this back wall here. So this is the wall that I want to be the backdrop for my videos. I want to paint this wall white, put a desk here, put a shelf and a bookshelf and sort of put some greenery, some plants, etc. I just want it to be really nice and elegant. This door goes to our attic for storage. And then Lydia usually lays down here on her bed so she can watch me film. So come along for this makeover journey. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get painting. paint but this color looks so much better I'm so excited let's let this dry overnight ton of stuff from Target. I got a bunch of stuff shipped from Amazon and I'm so excited to finish this room. So when we moved into this house not too long ago, we just remodeled the first floor. We took out walls, we repainted, we did all the floors, basically all of the lighting pictures, all the kitchen cabinets, everything. And we kind of just saved the upstairs because we knew we wouldn't use it for a couple years. And then I just decided, hey, I'm going to start filming again. So obviously I need this room. So we probably should have redone the upstairs. We didn't, so we plan on redoing this entire floor within the next six months to year, so it kind of doesn't make sense for me to do the trim and the carpet and all the fixtures and everything. So I only repainted the wall that you all are going to see during my videos, which is this back wall. I repainted it in Benjamin Moore Classic Gray, which is what we did in our downstairs, and I love that color so much. I bought this organizer from Target and this one from Amazon, and let's fill these up with some cute stuff. <laughs> Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in my beers up. Alright, hey guys, I think I have things placed kind of where I like them. I know I'm probably going to rearrange them after every video anyway, and I'd like to get some different things, but I'm going to show you what I settled on for now. <laughs> I'm just going to crawl around on the ground so you can see all this. I got this big organizer from Target. It was less than $100. It's really great quality. I put it together last night. All of these little plants are from Target as well. Most of this actually is from Target. <laughs> these little baskets were from Target. They were $8 a piece. I thought maybe that I would want them in this area, but I think I kind of want greenery and some cuter stuff for when the camera is looking at me. This will kind of be the angle of the camera, I'm guessing, except you won't see that wall over there, and it'll be zoomed in a lot more, obviously. All right, come on over here. I think I need to get a less bright bulb for this lamp because it was kind of just pulling all the light from the whole room in the camera, so I'm gonna leave it off for now. These cute little pictures were $9 at Target. I got three of them. I'm really into these little fake plants. I don't have to worry about keeping them alive and watering them, but they still add some life into the room, which I'm really enjoying. This cute little succulent here, I just wanna feel it all day long. <laughs> I got this light up sign from Amazon. I think it's really cool. You can just write different things on it. I don't know, I just wrote the style blog for now. We'll see if I change it. Stay tuned for that. 
Uh, this little plant was broken. I kind of tried to show you. It came broken. I sh They shipped it to me, and then another one came broken, too. I was trying to just see if I liked it or not, if I want it replaced, or if I just want a refund. And I do think I want it replaced because I think that this pop of pink really works. It kind of pulls the pink from the other places. I really like the sign that says BU because, honestly, I know that this is a, like, makeup beauty channel, but you are beautiful how you are, and I would love to have a sign in every video that just says BU. Be you, be who you are, you're beautiful, you are good enough as you are, you don't have to be something else. So I'm really loving this sign. These little, this little greenery makes me so happy. And then this welcome sign up here is also from Target. It's really heavy and I think I'm going to have to try to get an easel or something for that so it doesn't keep falling down. It's not going to be good if it falls down in the middle of a video. I will be frightened. And I think that's about it. This bookcase was around 100 bucks on Amazon. It was really easy to put together, and then my husband helped me drill it in the wall right before I started filming today. By the way, guys, I bought all of this for this video. I bought it all at Amazon and Target so that I could link all of it for you guys. Because I know it's frustrating when someone gets stuff and you want to buy it, and then they're like, oh, it's from three years ago from Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something. So this will all be linked below, and then every video I'll put the link so you can find it in my blog in case you're wondering where something is from, etc. Because this stuff is really cute. I think I'm gonna buy more for the rest of our house. And it was very, very affordable. And then I also just have this Gallant Glossham desk thing. I think that's what it's called from Ikea. I will look it up and put the link below for you guys. And that's what I'm gonna set my makeup stuff on and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna get that set up so I can show you exactly how the videos are going to frame, which I'm so excited for. It's gonna look so pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to try holding you because my husband is unavailable to help. So here's my room. It looks so much smaller with all these huge lights in here, but I'm going to give you a tour. All right, hey, guys, I know the lighting is not quite perfect yet, and I actually don't even have a seat. I'm just sitting on this paint can from painting our walls. Not great. But if that's something I forgot, that's not that bad. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to light this up a little bit more. I do have background lighting on that, but lighting is so hard. But guys, I do feel like this looks a thousand times better than before. I just need to figure out kind of why this is getting so dark over here. I literally have this entire room lit up. I don't know what the problem is, but I will figure it out. <laughs> okay, messing with my reflector here, trying to get something going. Hmm looks a little bit better. I think I need a taller chair. I think this would be much better. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> Guys, I kind of love how this turned out. I feel so much more comfortable in this room now. I feel like it's much brighter and airier and more my personality. Uh, this is not working for me to sit that low. I can't even look at myself looking that, sitting that low. This is too high. How, what, what's the proper, how do you sit without a seat? Maybe this is better. Okay. All right. Whew. I just feel like this is my space now and I kind of love it and I feel comfortable here. I feel like it's my style and I don't know, I just think it's gonna make my videos so much better going forward, which I'm really thankful for. Guys, let me know if you like this better than just the backdrop. Nothing against backdrops, I was just kind of sick of it and I just wanted a space that you could recognize and say, hey, that's Sarah from the Style Blog. <laughs> Obviously with my little light board over here. There's no mistaking it. Guys, thank you all so much for tuning in and encouraging me to film this video. I'm really glad I did it. I'm really glad that we've transformed my room. I'm so happy about it. Um, next up, I'm filming a product empties video, so stay tuned for that coming in a couple days, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, really quick, I just want to show you from my point of view what it looks like. So here's my, all my lights. It's a lot of lights, and I have this little bitty one over here shining on my bookcase. Okay, so we're going to figure that out and my camera, and my microphone, and everything. Ooh, look at that lighting change. Guys, I love it. It looks so pretty. It's just so much more my style. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you next time, bye.